Hi friends, back with the last chapter, chapter four, mystery solved. If you remember what happened in chapter three, they were playing their treasure hunt game and at last they found the treasure, but it wasn't really the treasure. So let's find out what happens in chapter four. What did you do with it, Humphrey? Garth asked me. Where did you hide it? I didn't, I squeaked. A thief, a thief took it. Humphrey's just a hamster, Garth's dad said. What could he do? You don't know Humphrey, Garth said. Some of my friends laughed. They knew I'd had a lot of amazing adventures. Humphrey wouldn't do anything bad, Miranda said. Boing, Og added. My other friends all agreed. Garth nodded. I know, but how could the real treasure disappear like that? And how did the chocolate coin get in Humphrey's cage? I'm happy with the candy, Saye said. Don't worry, Garth. There he is. There, there's um, Humphrey looking upset. But Garth was still upset. I know where that candy came from. It came from my desk. Do you think a thief came in and stole your treasure? Garth's mom smiled and then replaced it with the candy. That's silly. No, it's not, I squeaked. Somebody could have taken it while we were searching, Garth said. We weren't looking at Humphrey's cage the whole time. True, Garth's dad said. False, I said. You're wrong, wrong, wrong. Everybody laughed at my squeaking. I wish they'd at least try to understand me. I guess Humphrey knows what happened, Miranda said. He might be the only witness, Tabitha said. He was almost right. Og and I were the only ones who knew that a thief stole the treasure the night before. She didn't know what we had that that we had no idea who the thief was. I mean, who could it have been? The only humans who were in the house were AJ, Garth, his mom, his dad, and Andy. AJ wasn't a thief, but had he been playing a joke on Garth? Garth wouldn't have taken his own treasure. He wouldn't have wanted to ruin his own party. Garth's mom and dad were too nice to steal anything. Plus, they wouldn't want to ruin Garth's party either. And Andy had been asleep in bed when the treasure was stolen. I looked at Garth's little brother. He didn't look like a thief, but he did look funny with chocolate smeared all over his face. Now he has got chocolate all over his face. Garth's mom looked at him too. Andy, I told you no chocolate cake until later, she said. You sneaked some chocolate last night too. Yum, chocolate, Andy said. Yum, yum, yummy, he sang. Garth said, shh. Andy said, shh, right back. The thief has smelled like chocolate. Andy loved chocolate, and he'd been eating it last night. The thief has said, shh. Garth and AJ said, shh. But Andy liked to say, shh, a lot. Andy had been in the house last night, but now I knew he hadn't been in bed. I raced to the front of my cage. You did it, Andy. You're the thief, I squeaked. Turn yourself in. All my friends giggled at my squeak, squeak, squeak. But I didn't giggle. Andy is the thief, I said. He did it. Humphrey seems mad as Andy, Garth said. Yes, he does, Garth's mom said. She turned to Andy. Did you take the treasure out of Humphrey's cage? Andy looked down at the ground. Yes, he said softly. Why, Garth asked. I like treasure, Andy said. Garth had another question. And you put the chocolate coin in the cage? I like chocolate, Andy said. That wasn't a real answer, but Garth didn't notice. Go get the treasure, Garth's dad said. Now. Andy went in the house. He came back out carrying the little treasure chest. Give it to Saye, Garth's mom told him, and tell her you're sorry. Andy handed Saye the chest. Sorry, he said. He looked really, really, really sorry, too. Everyone gathered around while Saye opened the tiny chest. Oh, she said as she reached inside. It's a gift card for Tilly's toy store. All my friends said, ooh. Saye handed Andy the chocolate coin. This is for you, Andy, because you told the truth. There she is, giving him chocolate. I don't know that needs more chocolate. <laughs> Andy smiled happily until his mom took the coin to save her later. Thanks for solving the mystery for us, Humphrey, Garth's dad said. You're quite a treasure yourself. Boing, boing, Og agreed. Garth's dad laughed. Og, you're a treasure too. Garth's mom announced it was time for cake and ice cream, and my all my friends ran off to the food table. But Garth came right back. Humphrey, I knew it wasn't you, he said. You'd never steal anything. He opened the door of my cage and stuck a small piece of carrot inside. Here's a treat for you. Yum! That lovely orange carrot was like sparkly treasure to me. I hid it under the bedding in my cage for later on. I could have a treasure hunt all by myself. 
Thanks for making it a great party, Garth said. You're welcome, I replied. It was a great, great, great party. And I meant it. The end. That's the end of our chapter. Please make sure you're sharing with your parents what you thought of the book. See ya.